welcome back to Vansy Goldfish Fanatics. Today, once again, I am at Star Fisheries. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at a goldfish variety that I haven't actually personally seen before. Now, Star Fisheries actually received a shipment of Jeekin in, and I haven't really had the chance to see them up close and personal before. Now, I have seen pictures and videos of them online, but as I mentioned, never really had a chance to look at them. We're gonna be heading over to the pond. We're gonna be having a close look at them, maybe bowling a few up, and then we'll have a look at some in the viewing tank as well. Now, there isn't a huge amount online about Jeekin. They're generally a variety of fancy goldfish that hobbyists don't keep so much anymore. And I would say they're one of the more rarer variety. So without further ado, let's head over to the pond now and let's check out some of them. And believe me, there are some absolute massive fish. One eternity later. Right behind me here, we have some Jeekin in this pond. And there are some absolutely massive Jeekin in here. They're absolutely huge. I would say the average fish is probably about four inches in length. Let's take a close look at some of them and then we can get a few in the bowl and have a close look at them. Up close and personal, have a close look at the fins, the body shape and just the formulation of this goldfish. So now I am behind the camera and we're gonna have a look at a few of these Jeekin in the bowl. As you can see, I just have a white bowl here and we're gonna net a few of them up for the camera and then we can have a close look at them in the viewing tank. Now I'm just gonna do a random selection. I do wanna try and get one of the bigger guys though because they are absolutely massive. These guys are a lot quicker as well compared to like your Aranda or your Ranchu. Let's just have a look at these two first. As you can hopefully see, they are more of a slender body fish. They do have a little bit of wen growth on top. Nothing too crazy though. And obviously these Jeekin are the red and white variant. Now there is a little bit of pearlescence in the scales. I don't quite think this is sort of Gin Rin, but it is slightly more metallic and these are a metallic based fish. We have a really nice double tail as well. Nothing too long either. So the tails aren't too long in comparison to, I would say a standard fancy, maybe a fantail or an aranda. And they're definitely more of a streamlined fish. Now looking at them, these guys definitely would do well in the pond environment. I would say this, this one here is probably getting on towards six, maybe six and a half inches. And they are a really hardy variety to keep in your outdoor ponds. But that's enough having a look from the top view. Let's grab a viewing tank and see what these guys look from the side view if you were to keep them in your home aquarium. As you can see, we now have our two Jeekins in the aquarium. And as you can see, they are really, really nice quality fish. Now, these are definitely some high quality Jeekin. Obviously, we have those shorter tail. Now, I am going to be bowling up or putting a couple in the viewing tank that are slightly smaller and maybe not quite the same quality, but definitely a much lower price point because obviously these are high quality fish, so they do command that higher price. I'm gonna zoom the camera in a little bit, have a real close look at these guys, tell you a little bit more about their heritage as well, talk to you a little bit more about the fin deportment, maybe the colors and just the body shapes in general, where they come from and how they have been produced as well. So Jeekins have the body shape of a Joaquin or a slightly mutated Ryukin, which has been bred together. And this has actually formulated the wide angle tail that looks like the letter X when you view it from behind. Jeekin are always found in a red or white or red and white pattern. And they also have a color term called Rockerin. Now Rockerin actually refers to 12 points of red, which you would find on the lips, caudal fin, dorsal fin, pectoral fins, anal fins, pelvic fins, and also gill covers as well, which can actually receive a little bit of cosmetic surgery. A lot of the breeders that are producing these in Japan actually sometimes scrape some of the color off or remove color with a scalpel or a sort of small spatula to remove some of this color and give them that 12 points of color throughout the body known as Rockerin. Now these fish are really rarely found out of Japan and there is only a small number of breeders producing these worldwide. So now we've had a look at these larger fish, I'm gonna place them back into their pond and take a look at some slightly smaller fish that maybe you would like to grow on at home or some smaller fish that we can see the traits that these larger fish have 
in the small fish and maybe select some of the higher quality ones. Maybe have a look at the differences between a lower quality and a higher quality fish and what you generally look for if you are selecting a Jeekin for your home aquarium or your pond. So I'm just gonna pop these guys back and let's get some more in the viewing tank. I've just placed those two larger Jeekin back and we've actually got four really, really young Jeekin in the viewing tank now. Now we have one that is sort of a black and white. I believe this is actually molting and turning into that red and white goldfish because a lot of these young fish or the majority will be a young black fish and they will slowly change and the molting effect as some people like to call it is where that fish changes from the black coloration into the red, white, white or red coloration. So we're gonna have a close look at these. There are definitely some that are slightly better than others. Have a close look at which ones I think are personally my favorite and just generally have a, no, a close look at this really rare and sort of unseen and unheard of variety. It's really nice to be able to see we have some youngsters to compare to the parent fish and a lot of these smaller fish will turn out into those lovely five, six, even seven inch jeekin and grow up to be really nice, strong old fish. So let's come and have a close look at these stunning jeekin. So you'll see some of the traits in these young fish in comparison to the parent fish. Now you'll notice there is that black sort of one on the left hand side and the tail is a little bit more angled in comparison to some of the other fish. The tail sits at more of a 45 degree angle in comparison to the 90 degree angle that we would normally see on the other fish. Now the Jeekin was actually found or first produced in around 1610 in Japan and it was actually created as I mentioned by hybridizing the mutating style Ryukin which had a long upright caudal fin with a Joaquin goldfish. Now as you will see in the video here the Jeekin have a four lobe tail which can often be referred to as a peacock tail as it resembles an X when viewed from behind as I previously mentioned. Now obviously you can see these fish especially this one in the video here are a sort of pale orange and white color and this will develop and strengthen as the fish matures. Now this black one will likely turn orange and is likely in its molting stage because Jeekin can always come as either a white fish, a red fish, or a red and white fish. Now generally this is a really hardy species of goldfish and these guys should live for at least I would say up to 10-15 years old quite comfortably and although small at the moment these guys should easily attain around 8 to 9 inches in length if correct if kept in the correct environment and fed on a good quality food. Now, as I mentioned, they are a very, very hard variety to come across, which is why I made this video today, as they are really rarely often seen. And it was really nice to be able to see Star Fisheries having a selection of fish, both young and old, seeing the different color patterns, seeing the different qualities, the little bit of head growth some of these fish have and w will have in the future as they grow on and it was nice to compare these slightly smaller fish with the nice quality traits to the larger parents but that is the video on these small high quality jeekin i'm just gonna wrap up the video now that is it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing the different Jeekin, both the adults and also the youngsters that I have in the tank here. I thought it was really interesting comparing the two, looking at what makes up a Jeekin, also where they come from and just a little bit about their heritage as well. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you also have any video suggestions, any future videos you would like me to make, then you can also let me know down in that comment section. Thank you all for watching as always. Remember to get those water chains up and happy fish keeping.